Ty Scott, who showcased his collection for Boston Fashion Expose Day One. How are you, Ty? I'm feeling good, feeling good. I love the energy tonight, and I want to keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to me about your collection that we saw tonight. Well, the collection we see tonight was ready to wear uh, uh, collection, of course. Um, the theme was called Herbasia, um, a little bit of urban street chic, New York. Anywhere that's urban, you know what I mean? Mixed in with some Asian inspirations. You've seen a lot of kimono sleeves, a lot of um, a lot of just like different detailing that they do in Asia, but I didn't really take so much. I really wanted to keep it more street and sexy and urban and just for real people, you know? A little slight exaggeration. Nice, nice. So how long did it take you to put this collection together? Um, two months. Two months. Yes. So where did you get your inspiration for this? Did you see something? Did, you, did someone say something? Where did the inspiration for this collection start? You know, it just kind of fell into the fabrications. First, I always get the fat. I start with the fabrics. And I like, if I do have an extreme type of fabric, which I had a lot of the, the knit that was sparkly, shiny, I try to tone it down a little. So. That came from that, and then I was just loving, one of the first pieces I did was kimono sleeves, and I just kind of went there. Okay. And then I think I was watching Mahogany too, and I was like, I remember in the beginning she did a little Asian thing, uh -huh. and it was really extreme, Right. so I was wanting to pull back. Every time I see extreme stuff, I just like to pull back a little mm -hmm. and make it very wearable. But a little bit exaggerative too, you know, okay. so you can still stand out and be unique. So are you going to be with us for part two of um, Fashion Expose? I am. And um, can, we, can we give us like a sneak of what's going to be happening for day two? It is an extension, but it's all evening wear. Um, and don't be surprised because a lot of people think evening wear gowns, uh -huh. but I'm very ready to wear with my evening wear. It's more cocktail, party, evening, fun. My stuff is very youthful and enjoyable, and a lot of people can wear it. I know I primarily do custom made anyway, so I'm always thinking of one individual client. Each piece that I'm doing tomorrow is for that girl. Wow, so after Boston for Fashion Week, where are you going next? What's up next for Ty Scott's schedule? Next is New York Fashion Week, February. I have my own clothing line that I'm working on. Um, where is it? Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get y'all a t-shirt of it. It's called Vive Riche. That means live rich in French. So I'm really working on that. So I can debut that for February 2010 and be in New York showing that. Awesome. And Hopefully Boston will invite me back. But of course, but of course. So do you have a website where our viewers can see more of your work? I or think, you know, what I'm playing around with right now is Facebook. Mm -hmm. Search me on Facebook. I rock Ty Scott. That's I-R-O-C-T-Y-S-C-O-T-T. -T. Search me by my email. It's I rock Ty Scott at Gmail. You know what I mean? Or Google me. Google you. Google, Google me, me, baby. I mean, you guys help me. Google me. Awesome. You might see me on Style It Up. There you go, y'all. You heard it first. So, Ty, it's been a pleasure. Thank you yes, so much. Always. And we'll be looking forward to seeing your work tomorrow.